First News reporter Nathan Lahoda sat down with one local veteran whose time in the service almost cost him his life, but also helped him find love. The story is new this morning. Roy Gallatin's story starts in Carrollton in the middle of World War II. He had stopped going to high school his senior year to make money for his parents who were separated. Roy joined the Marines and trained to be on a naval ship. After training, he was assigned to the USS Princeton, which made its way to the Battle of Leyte Gulf. It was uh, kind of be a cloudy day. It was October 24, 1944, and the Princeton was attacked by a Japanese dive bomber. And, uh, it was only a short time after that why they uh, f broke the fuel lines going to the boilers. And it did, and that set everything on fire. The ones aboard our ship like that that were in the boiler rooms down there, they never got out. There was just no chance for them. Those that could had to abandon ship where they faced more peril. Mm -hmm. We also had shark problems. And if you had blood on you, like that, you were a target, but, but then a lot of them didn't make it. And for a while, his parents didn't know he was alive until they got this card about six weeks later. Then they found out that I uh, was gone like that. Well, they got together. But they weren't the only ones to fall in love. Roy met his wife when he was on leave after the attack. And while he is being reassigned to another station, he only had three days to marry her. Again, I can remember the sergeant of the guard saying to me, you know you were restricted. Roy says he never actually got in trouble, and about six months later, the war ended. He finished out his obligations to the Corps in Asia. I was never sorry about the service I put in the Marine. I was glad I was able to do it. In Lordstown, Nathan Lahota, WKBN 27 First News this morning.